Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Hope you have a wonderful day. Hope things going way where they be going. Hey, I have a pretty cool video for you today. Um, I confidently and one hundred percent am going to be adding a book to the Bible today. I am adding a book to my Bible, and I am saying it is a hundred percent truth, and it is a hundred percent fact, and it a hundred percent happened. Oh no, blasphemy. Okay, well, it, <laughs> yeah. Now, what book would that be? Because there's a lot of books. Now, if you don't know a lot about scripture, you know, the 1611 King James Bible had the 16 Apocrypha, which consisted of 16 different books that were originally in the King James Bible. They were removed in the 1700s. Uh, the Catholic Bible has like 70 something, right? King James Bible, the, the Christian Bible has 66 books. The Ethiopian Bible has 107, I believe. So out of every Bible in the world, the Ethiopian Bible has more Bibles than any other Bible. Or it, more books than any other Bible can, you know, uh, coming to one book, right? This is a King James Bible. So what book is it that I, I, Jared, am adding to the Bible and saying it is fact and you can fight me on it as much as you want? You won't change my mind. Um, I don't know how I didn't see this before, you know, especially the other day when I was, uh, reading this actually exact chapter, uh, I would have come across, I would, I would have eventually, and I don't know if anyone else has come across this, but the book I am speaking of is the book of Enoch. Now I've always thought that the book of Enoch was canon anyways, but today, whatever today is, I, I Jared, am officially adding it to the scripture and you can say whatever you want. But why don't you, if you have an ear, let them hear. Because I'm going to show you why I'm adding it to the Bible and why I have proof. 100% proof it's part of the scripture. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! I'm excited. Let's go. I don't know if anyone else has ever, like, put this together before. But, like, all right. So, we're first going to go. I mean, if you don't know who Enoch is, uh, read your Bible. <laughs> But if you don't know who Enoch is, I will tell you who Enoch is. We find out about Enoch very early on in the scripture, right? He's my son. Or wait, is he my dad? Is he my dad or is he my son? Jared lived 160 and he begot. And Jared lived after he begot. Yeah, Enoch is my son. He begot Enoch, 800, blah, 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 blah. And the days of Enoch were 365 years. And Enoch walked with God. And he was not, for God took him. That's it. That's it. Enoch gets less than a paragraph of scripture. And boop, that's it. Now, early Judaism, um, they did, not all of them, because just like division in today, there's division back then. There wasn't one necessarily... Uh, um, there wasn't one stem of Judaism. Juda Judaism had many denominations. There were those who only practiced the, the Torah, the book of law, and didn't go for further. Uh, so there were those who did practice and did study and did read the book of Enoch. Now, from my understanding, the book of Enoch has never been in the Christian Bible. Um, it wasn't ever in the King James Bible I don't know if it was in the Geneva. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Um, but way back when, you know, Old Testament, whatever you want to call it, yeah, it was in the it, it this it was it was part of the scrolls. Um, so okay, so it's always been I'm always been, like the Book of Enoch is super intriguing, and there's so many crazy things that happen in it, right? And we learn about you know we 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 get more information on Genesis 6, right? And there's just so many things that make you think, oh, how could the book of Enoch not be canon? Why did God take him? Why? It doesn't say why. It doesn't give us any information. Why would there not be a continuation to his story and everything that happened? And then we and then it it goes in depth because it consists of three parts. In, the book of Enoch has three series, right? The watchers, the giants. Um and and so this the book of Enoch goes in depth on the, the Nephilim and, and, and what they did and, and the guardians, which are the angels who were watching us, who mated with our women. And then the women were cursed and they became sirens. And there's just so much to it. It's fact. And I will be the first to scream it from the mountaintops. Now, here's why I know 100% that it's fact. 
So I'm sure many know that in the book of Jude, um, in the book of Jude, Enoch, the book of Enoch is quoted by the epistle Jude or the, the apostle Jude. Um, now, a lot of people know this. Many people know this. Mm, but I'm going to make something of it. Check this out, right? So it's just, it's the book just before, um, just before uh, the book of Revelation, right? And if we read, we're going to, so we're, so we're reading and uh, the book of Jude, he's just kind of talking about a, a, a handful of things, not necessarily like, I mean, no, he actually, he talks about those who are ungodly because the book of Enoch does talk about end time events. He talks about those who are ungodly, those whose faith is not genuine, they're going to burn. Um, so woe unto them for they have gone in the way of Cain and ran greedily after the error of Balaam and for reward the, and perish in the, uh, gainishing of, of core, these spots in your feasts of, uh, charity, when they fast with you, feeding themselves without fear clouds, they are without water carried about the winds trees those fruits withered without fruit twice dead plucked up by roots raging waves of sea uh, foaming out of their own shame wandering stars to whom is reserved to blackness and, and darkness forever and enoch now it's quoting directly from the book of enoch and Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these sayings. Behold, the Lord comes with 10,000 of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed. And of all their hard, uh, hard speeches with ungodly sinners have spoken against him. So this is directly quoting from a passage in the book of Enoch. So is that why I believe it's canon? No. Um, but that you either have a choice right now. I mean, I'm going to give you why. I, but this should be why for everyone. This is nothing new. Everyone know, Most people who know about the book of Enoch know that it is quoted in scripture. It's also quoted in the, in the Old Testament. Um, which you would think brings it to life. And, and But... People say, oh, no, you know, the apostles just were confused or whatever. Mm, bro, they were with God. <laughs> they were with God. Hello. I think God's going to be like, hey, that never happened. None of that's true. And he does say that. He does say that. And that's why it's canon. The book of Enoch is canon. I, Jared Matthew Brown, now declare that the book of Enoch, the three-part series of the book of Enoch is history, all happened, has happened, and is part of the Holy Scripture. Now, how do I do that? Well, um, we go to uh, Luke 24, chapter 30, and it came to pass, as he sat at meat with them, he took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to them, and their eyes were opened, and they knew him, and he vanished out of their sight, and they said to one another, did not our heart burn with us while he talked with us by the way and while he opened to us the scriptures so if you don't understand that this at all which you can even go to the greek it says the same thing what jesus did to his 12 apostles is open their mind to understanding the torah the Tanakh, all of it all the history of the scrolls so that being said either jude is non-canon and it has to be removed from the bible or the book of Enoch is 100% canon. You can argue against this, but you're ignorant, I guess. I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, either either you're going to choose that the book of Enoch is not canon. Or that it is canon. Or you're going to choose that Jude is this, that this one page, this one book of Jude should not be in scripture because it's not canon. Which is it going to be? This is a direct quote from scripture. And the apostles, the 12 apostles knew scripture. So don't you think that this would cease to exist if that were the fact? Sorry, Book of Enoch is canon. Woo! Go give it a read. It's awesome. God bless. Love you. Bye.